We have finally witnessed Goku mastering Ultra Instinct. He was pushed by Jiren to his limit, which made him retap to Ultra Instinct and perfect it. We didn't see a lot from it, but we saw that he mastered it and we will see more from it in the next episode. But this episode was split to two halves. The first half was about Vegeta, him struggling against Jiren. He wants to beat him, he wants to win, but he can't. He doesn't have any power left in him after his fight against Toku, so he can't do much. He remembers why he is fighting. He has flashbacks to his bombs to Kaba, to his days with Boma and Trunks, and he knows that he needs to win to make sure that they are safe, but his body isn't helping him, he has no power left. So even that, his body has no power left, but that doesn't stop him from trying to win, getting on his feet and attacking Jiren even without power left in his body. But as we all know, Vegeta got eliminated, he has no power left, he was fighting Jiren in his best form. He managed to use Final Flash one more time, but it didn't have that much power behind so there we saw the fall of the prince Vegeta but before he fell he gave all of his power to Goku and that's where the first half of the episode ends the second half is Goku trying to win against Jiren trying his best to win after Vegeta fell in the second half it's about Goku against Jiren he has the power from Vegeta so he manages to use Super Saiyan Blue but that's not enough Jiren is beating him Goku can't do anything against him till the last moment where right before Goku fell right before the last blow from Jiren Goku retaps to Ultra Instinct once more. He remembers about all of the people that he needs to protect, about his friends, about everyone that gave it his all in the tournament. 17, Vegeta, 18, everyone. And that's what pushed him to get Ultra Instinct back. Him knowing that he needs to win to make sure that Universe 7 survives was the best way to make him get his Ultra Instinct back. But this time it's mastered. He delivers a couple of flows on Jiren, but that's where the episode ends. In the next episode, we see something interesting about Ultra Instinct. Instinct. We see that Goku's hair changes to silver and that resembles his eyes and him mastering Ultra Instinct is a way to make Goku above gods of destruction and make him reach the power of angels. Now Goku surpassed peers in almost every god of destruction. His power now rivals the angels like Whis, Vados and all of them and his hair changing like that is somewhat hinting at that. That him mastering Ultra Instinct pushed him to the next level, to the level where peers didn't even reach. In future arcs we will see more from Goku, we will see him just getting stronger and stronger we will see him surpassing that of an angel because that's the saiyan's way the way that will make him keep getting stronger and stronger because that's who goku is that's the way he always been so it will not surprise me if in future arcs we will see goku surpassing even Whis, because that's what we saw in this episode goku surpassing his limit mass and ultra instinct a power that peers didn't even master so it will not surprise me at all and in this episode we saw the birth of a new angel the birth of goku the angel